Hey guys, it's Spartan 117GW and I have a classic army sport line. So uh, it's kind of interesting because my first gun coming in the airsoft was a classic army, given it was an M15A4 CQV, but my first gun was a classic army. So it's been a while since I really messed with a you know, CA gun. Uh, definitely interesting. It's very lightweight. Uh, has pretty much full uh, polymer construction, obviously with some, some key features like the, uh, you know, the barrel, the front side post, buffer tube, and you know, a, a, a couple other things that are full metal as well. Uh, one thing I definitely liked was that it's actually performed pretty solid today. Like uh, I have a, a mag in here, obviously, but it was definitely a solid performer. Using a 7.4 lipo is probably something you want to use with this gun. And uh, you know, I was I was really happy with the performance. It shot pretty flat, and uh, while we're using it for the attack and defend games, it was a really uh, really sturdy shooter. So uh, make sure you guys check it out. This one is provided by Spartan Imports. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead conduct a range test and get opinions from other guys who use the, this gun during the game. So make sure you guys watch. And Rolling. Check it out. Flip it on burst. Go ahead, wind, you're fine. All right, guys. Hey, this is Spartan 117GW. We have the Classic Army Sport Line provided by Spartan Imports. Uh, now, when I first got an airsoft, I used the Classic Army, and you know, Matt typically runs a whole bunch of different guns. I let him use a whole bunch of you know everything from AX DMRs, Car 15s. He's even run Polar Stars as recently as Operation Blue Gray. Uh, so, kind of using this gun, what was your opinion on it? Obviously, it was designed for like you know kind of the new user, but surprisingly enough, performance wasn't bad, was it? No, I mean, performance is great. It shoots great, has great accuracy. Um, rate of fire, throw a 7.4 in there. It's typical. I mean, you're not, if you're not looking for super high rate of fire, it's a pretty good gun. Stock, it runs great. I mean, I was outperforming a lot of people. So, I mean, it's just more about how you use it. So, I know a lot of people may look at this and be like, oh, it's a cheap gun or whatnot. But it's a really great gun. It's pretty cheap. Um, so, I mean, if you're just getting into the sport or you really don't care about having that tier one looking gun, um, this is a great gun to check out. I mean, it performs up to the same speed as a lot of the other guns. I mean, unless you way upgrade it. So, definitely gun to check out if you're looking for a low budget gun that performs well. All right. So, Classic Army obviously has been around for a long, long time. There was a couple years when the sport lines were kind of iffy, but this is one of the newer sport lines. Uh, I was actually pretty happy to check this out. And, uh, you know, it performed pretty, pretty good. It shot flat, it shot far, it shot accurate. And you know, for someone who's just getting into the sport, it's definitely a really good buy because it's really going to give you some really good use for your money. And then when you're ready to upgrade to a full metal or a higher tier gun, you know, you still have this as a backup gun, or you can lend it to a buddy because it's pretty durable. You can beat it up a little bit. Great gun though. So make sure you guys check it out. It's the Classic Army Sportline M15A4, and provided by Spartan Imports. Thank you guys for watching. I'm James C. Burns, I play Sergeant Frank Woods in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. Elite Force BBs, that's what's in my mag. Thanks for watching.